we're going to crochet a cute little pumpkin. To start off, I'm using a size I or 5.5 millimeter hook, and I'm using um, Karen Simply Soft Yarn. So, to begin with, you'll want to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll form a ring. So I'll slip stitch in this first chain stitch that I did. Slip stitch, put this yarn in into the back, then work one more chain stitch. Then in this loop, which I'm going to put the tail just right around with it to crochet it in, um, you'll work nine single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll close this ring by around by slip stitching in the top of that first single crochet that we did. I'm also going to just trim this yarn end so I'll be out of the way. Now, in the next stitch, I slip stitched in this one. In the next stitch, I'm going to work another single crochet. In this next one, I'm going to work two double crochets. So here's the first one and the second one in the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to do the same thing, two double crochets. Here's the first one, here's the second one. In the next stitch I'll do a single crochet, and in the next stitch I'm going to do a slip stitch. In the next stitch I'm going to do a single crochet is the bottom of the pumpkin. In the next stitch I'll do two double crochets. This is the other side. One. Two. The next one we'll do two double crochets again. One. In the same stitch. Two. And in the next stitch right here, I'll do a oops, single crochet. And now in this next stitch right here, I'm going to do a slip stitch, but I'm also going to change colors to do the stem. So I've got to get my green yarn. Just hold that end and the yellow or orangey yarn. Just hold it on the other side. And pick up the green yarn and just slip it through all the stitches. And now work three chain stitches. One, two, three. Now in the second chain from the hook, not this one, but this one, I'm going to work a single crochet. And then in the next stitch right here, I'm going to work another single crochet. And then in the same stitch 
right in there where I did the slip stitch with the green color, I'm going to do another slip stitch. Now I need to cut my yarn and pull that through. Like that. I'm also going to cut this one. And this side that's been facing us is going to be the back. So I need to bring this other yarn end to this side. And then I'm just going to take these two green yarn ends and do a square knot. I don't know if I started with right over left or left over right. Probably right over left. Now I'll do or Anyway, yeah, just do a square knot. <laughs> Pull it real tight. And you can weave that in or just trim it close. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim it and not worry about weaving that in. Now this yarn end, I'm also going to pull to this side. And then I'm going to pick up with a smaller crochet hook. It's so much easier to do with a smaller crochet hook or with a needle. Some of these single crochets that we did here in the beginning with our chain ring. And pull those through. I might do a couple more. This is not my favorite part of crocheting. <laughs> and it is easier with the needle. I just didn't want to take the time to thread it. I can trim that. Then look how cute that is on the other side. Oops, I didn't trim that one. Now, if you want, you can add this to some of those hairbands we've been making. This has the button on, and it just slips on there, and then you've got a nice autumn hairband to wear. Cute, huh? It's adorable.